The Walt Disney Company is big time mad that the state of Florida is going to inspect the monorail system just as you would expect that any major means of transportation would be inspected. We're here to tell you today why you should be glad, not mad. And we'll show you pictures and images of recent situations where emergency rescues had to happen to the monorail. Bangs and flashes of light. When Disney says it's just a flat tire. Strap in folks, we'll tell you why we're glad the monorail is finally getting an inspection. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, all walks of life. Welcome to the channel where we bring truth to entertainment. Today we're talking about the monorails at Disney and why the Walt Disney Company really, really doesn't like that suddenly they are being covered and, well, regulated just the same as all the other theme parks in the world. That is, they now have to submit to inspections. Here's the article out of WDWMagic.com. We're going to show you where the uh, bias lies. State inspections begin for Disney World monorail. Disney alleges targeted action by Ron DeSantis. News 6 in Orlando is reporting that state inspections of the Walt Disney World monorail system have begun. And remember, folks, this is probably the least crowded time of the year at Disney. The, the marathon weekend is over. Florida has been very kind to Disney to do these inspections when there is, well, there's just so few people in the parks. The weather is terrible. There's no reason to be there. It's, it is absolutely empty. According to the News 6 report, the Florida Department of Transportation Structures Maintenance Office oversees various state infrastructures and has started field inspections of the monorail structure. Additionally, it is reported that Disney has provided FDOT, that's the Florida Department of Transportation, with safety manuals and other documentation for these inspectors. FDOT plans to conduct inspections every two years, but has not completed any written reports from the ongoing inspections. Now remember, ladies and gentlemen, when the thought was, oh, DeSantis, he's out there to get Disney. There'll be inspections every week. Disney's going to be crippled by the way that they, they can't even run the monorail because they'll never be allowed to get them out there. No. Every two years, they're going to come by, check it, make sure it's working fine. Uh, all of that was uh, nonsense, and we knew it. DeSantis signed Bill HB 1305 into law in May 2023, which Disney claims in its lawsuit against the Florida governor specifically targets Walt Disney World's monorail by referencing any governmentally or privately owned fixed guideway transportation systems operating in the state, which are located with an independent special district created by local act, which have boundaries within two contiguous counties. And this is one place where I will agree. And we criticized that language. It does seem targeted. That said, there has not been a, um, there has not been a penalizing or, um, depressing kind of action taken in terms of sidelining the monorail or making it not be usable or anything like that. Checking it every two years, that's just thats just normal. The bill, which went into effect July 1st, 2023, includes the requirement that the monorail be suspended during safety inspections by the Florida Department of Transportation. I don't know how you can inspect it unless it is suspended. The monorail system is a critical part of Walt Disney World's daily operations, and although Disney has backup transportation in place, including buses, and watercraft and extended safety inspection could cause significant inconveniences to guests. There's no indication that there is going to be an extended uh, significant safety inspection. And if, if that ever happens, folks, we'll criticize it unless there's a due reason for that. Um, I, I would not even be surprised if the inspections happen during off hours at the parks. I don't know, but we'll see. Until these new state inspections began, Disney has been sole respons solely responsible for maintaining and inspecting the Walt Disney World monorail system with no Government oversight. Okay, well, that's a problem, I would say. If you're going to get onto a major transportation system that hauls millions of people a year, probably should be inspected from time to time by a third party. Disney is currently in the process of legal action against Florida's governor and claims in its lawsuit that there has been a targeted campaign of government retaliation orchestrated at every step by Governor Ron DeSantis as punishment for Disney's protected speech. Now threatens Disney's business operations, jeopardizes its economic future in the region, and violates its constitutional rights. All over this, all of this over a monorail. But folks, from the exact same website, from WDW Magic, let's take a look at this. Oh, this is just from October 31st, before the monorails had been inspected by the state of Florida. October 31st, 2023, emergency crews evacuate guests from monorail breakdown at Walt Disney World. And this is not the first time, it's not the last time. Monorail Yellow suffered a sudden failure this morning as it was carrying guests on the Epcot beam at Walt Disney World. Here's the statement. From Disney, this morning, the monorail experienced a flat tire near the Epcot parking lot toll plaza. No guests or cast members have reported injuries, and all passengers were safely evacuated. 
has a flat tire. Okay, well, let's find out what the real truth of this was. Fox 35 is reporting a quote from a passenger, Chris Link, that told the news station, there was a loud bang explosion. And then we kind of saw a big flash of light. After that, the monorail slowed down. Oh, a flat tire. Oh. Now, it may have indeed had a flat tire, but that probably isn't all. And if it is all, then it would seem that the tire exploded. That's speculation. But something caused the tire to rapidly go flat is what that seems to be. We, we don't know that to be 100% certain. But Disney's declaration that there's just a flat tire doesn't seem to hold water. Maybe it doesn't hold air either. Take a look at this. This is out of uh, Patrick Perez. A Disney World monorail came to a complete stop this morning while on its way to Epcot. A passenger on board told me they heard a loud explosion sound and then a flash of light. His cart was evacuated about 15 minutes ago, working to confirm what caused it. Let's take a look at this now, folks. Here's the, uh, here's the video of what it looked like as all of these emergency crews had to come. Remember this, October 31st. All of these emergency crews have to bring in the bucket trucks and all of that to come over there and rescue the monorail riders. And that's that's not all. Wonder who these people are. Who are these uh, people who have come to rescue them? Well, it's the good folks of the Central Florida Tourism Oversight District. That's who it is. Uh, you probably won't hear any praise from Disney for them, will you? Sif Todd, the new special government that's over Disney, the one that was appointed by DeSantis, came to the rescue of the monorail. And look what all is required to do this. You've got uh, ambulances, you've got fire trucks, you've got all kinds of emergency rescue services on hand to handle the situation. That's not inexpensive, by the way. And uh, you can see here a, a better shot of this where you've got multiple vehicles on uh, on hand. Gosh, you've probably got two dozen at least rescue personnel there to make sure that everybody gets off the monorail safely, including people who have mobility issues. And again, all of that, not inexpensive. And this was, again, just October 31st. So I think, frankly, that it is a, um, well, I don't see any reason in the world why we wouldn't want to have this uh, inspected. Why in the world would we not want to inspect what's going on with the monorail? Make sure that everybody's safe when they get on, get off. There's no problem there. And if there is some sort of penalizing activity where they unduly cause the monorail to be in, in operation for extended periods of time, we'll criticize that because that's not cool. That's uh, that's punishment, and we uh, we don't think that's right. That said, that said, it is completely within the purview of the state of Florida to inspect means of transportation, methods of transportation, such as the monorail. Makes total sense to me. And uh, the, the articles and the media out there who are decrying this as another DeSantis hit, frankly, I think they have sacrificed the need for safety in order to pursue their narrative. We already have examples of where this is extremely uh, costly when the monorails have these kinds of situations. And I would say in the case of Disney declaring that there was a flat tire and members, members who are riding the monorail declaring there was a flash bang explosion somewhere, <laughs> well, those, those stories don't connect. And I would suggest that perhaps it would be nice to have somebody look into it. Just not that particular situation, perhaps, but just look into are the monorails being kept safe. At the very least, if Disney knows that their monorails are going to be inspected, there's a better chance that they will do the job that needs to be done because they know, oh, it's not a Disney employee who's going to check me. It's going to be a state authority. That's why we have inspections at restaurants. That's why we have inspections of vehicles. That's why we have inspections of planes. And you know what? It's okay if we have inspections of monorails. All right, folks, that's the video for today. We hope we parse this out in a way that is easy to understand, makes sense, is fair, and even as unbiased as we can be. A video of excellence in the can yet again. Folks, drop a comment down below. Let us know your thoughts about the monorail and about these inspections. Are we right? Are we wrong? Is this too heavy-handed or is it too uh, light-handed when it comes to the DeSantis Florida government coming in there and inspecting. Also, like, share, subscribe. When you click it, you stick it to the algorithms. And folks, wherever you are and whatever you're doing, keep learning, keep growing, and keep having fun. Huh. Hey, Floral. Hmm? I just wanted to let you know I have a New Year's resolution. Okay. Although, I don't want to say it. It might be like a wish. If I speak it, I'll break it. Usually a resolution is spoken out loud so you can be held accountable to it. Like, my resolution is to go to thatparkplace.com and be ready to see its new facelift, and to make sure I'm always subscribed to guys like Jonas and Pro, Culture Casino, Lorena Creole, John Trent, you know, all of them. Well, I, I actually got Slade Wilson to also make a lose resolution. What's that? 
I'd get in too much trouble if I repeated it. He took it way further than I feel comfortable repeating. Well, that's probably a good call. But, uh, what was yours? It's, it's, it's not to say anything mean about Jonas. How do you plan to do that? <sighs> <laughs> You're an idiot. 